Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to easily create presets in Adobe Lightroom Classic. So let's say you've already made all your adjustments. Just make sure that that file is selected on the left here under navigator. You'll see a presets section. Make sure that's open. Click on the little plus symbol right here for add new presets. Click on create preset. You can give the preset a name and put it into a group. I'm going to create a new group and call this my presets create. And then I'm going to call this preset music studio. Now, the first thing you'll see is auto settings. If you have that selected, it's going to decide what settings it thinks that you should have selected. If you uncheck that, you can manually select what settings you want to save in the preset. If you want to clear these and do one by one, you can go to the bottom left corner and click check none. Or if you want everything selected, you can click on check all. And then just above that, under advanced settings, you have support amount slider. With that selected, when you save your preset, you'll have this amount slider here that's currently grayed out, which is essentially like a blending tool. So when you apply it to a new image, you can move the slider and have all these adjustments be done gradually or at whatever percentage of strength you want it to affect your image. I personally always have support amount slider checked. Now, one very important thing to know is that under the presets, you cannot save any cropping, though you can save masks. So when you're all done, go ahead and press create. And now you'll see your new group here, which mine is called my presets. I can expand that and now I see my preset. So if we go to another image, I can hover above the preset and you can see that it will give me a preview of what it's going to look like. If I select it, now I can lower the amount down to zero or if I want it just a small amount, let's say I want 80% and now make it 200%, which is not good. And if you want it at its default, just go to 100. Now, if you want to delete this preset, you can go ahead and click on the minus button here once it's selected and then you can delete the selected preset. It'll ask if you're sure, and then you can press delete. To apply it, you can just click on any image, whether or not you've done any changes. Let's say we've done some changes. I'm gonna butcher this, but whatever changes you've done here, the preset will overwrite whatever you've done here. And so now if I click on a different image, you can see everything is the same. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to save a Lightroom Classic preset. On this channel, I have a playlist for more tutorials on Lightroom and Photoshop. So go ahead and make sure to check that out. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.